here's a peek at what I worked on the last time I was here in the studio last week. These are little hardboard panels. I believe they're four inches by four inches as far as the size goes. And when I left them, they were still wet. And you never know when you come back and they're dry if you're going to love them as much, which I'm happy to say I do love them just as much. But these were panels that I had done some experiments on before and they were sitting here at my studio and I never went any further with them. So I decided since I wanted to experiment with um, some other techniques, I used that basically as the underpainting. And you can see there's some really pretty texture on here and bits of what was underneath is peeking through there. Little bits of red in there on that one. And on this one, there's bits of pinks and peaches and reds, I think, there uh, poking through. But really loving that one. And then this one here. Really nice red showing through. But yeah, this is what I worked on um, last week in the studio, the last day I was here, and pretty pleased with how these ended up working out. Here are some close ups for you so you can really get a good sense of the layers and the texture of the paint layers. I'm thinking of calling these linear landscapes. That was what I had in my mind when I came in here and started experimenting with this. I wanted something just really calming and serene, but that had a lot of, still had a lot of um, visual interest. So calming, but yet still had, was visually uh, appealing as well. To give you a little insight as to the process of creating these little pieces, these uh, final layers that I did on these, I used both uh, heavy bodied acrylics and some also some fluid acrylics and I used my catalyst wedge which obviously you can see it's very well loved I <laughs> just think I use it so much also used my color shaper a little bit uh, but really more so to get paint out of <laughs> my jars here. And then also uh, I used a couple of brushes. I used this really stiff fan brush here and really wide flat brush as well. But uh, for this, this was some of the first layers I did was with this brush, and then I did some layers with the catalyst wedge, and then I went on top a little bit with some of the white and with this brush. So that's how these came together.